them into the overtime period. Louisiana Monroe has never finished above 500 since joining the FBS in 1994. When we talked to Todd Berry this week, he said, you know, I know what we're up against. But looking at the season as a whole, that's our goal. Get to seven wins, get this program to a bowl game for the first time in team history. What a win, what a statement this would be for Todd Berry's program if they could knock out number eight Arkansas here in Little Rock tonight. Uh, that's a watershed moment for a program. We know why they're here in this ball game initially. You want to win the game, but this is big funding. The fact that you can get a victory is all the more huge for a program like Louisiana in the year. Here's the ball game. Browning. Big chase. Finds the lane. He's got the first down. Making his way to the end zone. Touchdown. Louisiana Monroe has pulled off the upset. Unbelievable. How else would you expect it to end? After the way this game has been played, the way that has unfolded Colton Browning all game long, took nothing away from the rest of the offense and this Red, this Warhawk defense as well, but Colton Browning was the story tonight. And the fact that he's looking to throw a football downfield, unable to find the receiver, and do what he's done all night, create with his legs, and end this ball game and stun an Arkansas Razorback program that has been decimated by injury. This could be a crippling loss, especially given what they have coming next week in Alabama. Here's the final play just moments ago. Colton Browning, the dual threat, beats his man to the end zone and shocks the college football world. Dual threat is right, and it wasn't as if he just did it with his legs. It's nothing but a bunch of scramble yards. Can't say enough about this young man and that guy right there, Todd Berry. This is a moment that they will remember for a long time. And then obviously the agony of the other sideline. John L. Smith knew it as soon as, as soon as Colton Browning broke containment. And you see the elation of the Warhawk fans. They're always hopeful in matchups like this. But the dream became a reality tonight. Colton Browning, what a night. He's downstairs with Allison. Colton, you guys pull off the upset, getting the victory and overtime. What is going through?